here is some heartbreaking breaking news so this is an update on the diversity visa fiscal year 2020 fiscal year 2021 the selectees of those um, diversity visa lottery applications okay so the immigration and nationality act create an annual allotment of immigrant visas that's fifty five thousand for people from countries with low rates of immigration to the united states these visas are known as the diversity visas and the state department administers the diversity visa program annually so before the start of each fiscal year, it holds a lottery for applicants from qualifying countries. So each year, October, the lottery registration starts and it will usually end in November. Millions of individuals apply, of course, to pursue the American dream. From among these applicants, the Department of State will randomly select a number that it estimates will ensure filling the authorized diversity visas for the fiscal year in question, meaning that they select more than usual to be able to fill up the cap the cap for 55,000 visas each year. So the selectees become eligible, those who are selected, they become eligible to receive visas for the fiscal year involved, immigrants visas, and then they can get green cards. Selectees do not automatically receive visas. Rather, they must submit an application for an immigrant visa and then they have to appear personally for an interview before a consular officer who will determine their admissibility requirements and whether or not they are eligible to receive the immigrant visas. Okay, so they must also complete the application process and they must also receive the immigrant visa before the end of the specific fiscal year for which they were selected. So if you were selected for DV 2020 by September 30th, 2020, that selectee must have received their immigrant visa. Otherwise it's game over. Okay. Section 1182F of title eight permits the president of the United States to suspend the entry of all aliens or any class of aliens whenever he finds that their entry would be detrimental to the interests of the United States. In April 2020, President Trump issued Proclamation 114 and this suspended the entry of aliens or foreigners to protect the domestic labor markets that had been harmed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, so former President Trump twice extended the proclamation, but when President Biden came into power, he revoked it in February 2021. During the 10 months that the proclamation remained in effect, the State Department declined to issue diversity visas. So following this, the affected DV selectees of fiscal year 2020 and fiscal year 2021, they sued President Trump and they got good news. The district courts actually found that the Department of State had unlawfully suspended, deprioritized and delayed the processing of applications for diversity visas 2020 and 2021 during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. And so it's ordered, that's the district court, it's ordered the Department Department of State to continue processing applications and issuing visas after the statutory deadlines for doing so had passed. Now, the relevant statutory deadlines for fiscal year 2020 would be September 30th, 2020. And for DV um, fiscal year 2021, the statutory deadline um, for getting immigrant visas would be September 30th, 2021. So Obviously, the U.S. government now took the case on to the D.C. Circuit Court. And in four consolidated appeals, they appealed. Obviously, the U.S. government appealed the case. And they consolidated all the cases. Gomez versus, versus Biden, Goodluck versus Biden, Go versus Department of State, and Ray versus Biden. Um, into the case, Goodluck versus Biden. The D.C. courts held that the district courts actually lacked the authority to order such a relief. So the court concluded that once the fiscal years 2020 and 2021 ended, the plaintiffs, that is the selectees, had lost their eligibility for diversity visas and the district court erred or they made a mistake in a certain an equitable authority to override those statutory deadlines, which um, meant that they could not get a relief for their cases. And so the circuit court has reversed the remedial orders that were issued by the district court that obviously the U.S. government had challenged. So the circuit court also rejected the goal 
cross appeal in which the plaintiffs were arguing that the district courts should have reserved more visas for them. The district courts has remanded the cases with instructions to enter judgment for the government. So the U.S. government wins on this one. Unfortunately, the fiscal year 2020, fiscal year 2021, unfortunately, who were selected but could not come into the United States or couldn't could not be issued with their visas due to the ban by President Trump. They have lost the battle. Very sad news, heartbreaking news. And so I hope this information helps you guys. All the best. Follow me for more.